people have varying definitions of squid on a bike and um, I participate on this forum called Moto Houston and some of them just will call anybody a squid really and, and uh, I, it's fun I guess it's, 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 it's uh, poking and uh, harmless fun but some of them really I guess want to be really uh, pol probably be like more policy changing than actually having fun with the whole like taking they take pictures of motorcyclists and and, and if, if they're a squid to them then they, they, they post it up on the forum and stuff but some of them I disagree with they like uh, if they're wearing a helmet okay and they're in a they're in pants and a, and a shirt I, I'm not gonna necessarily I mean you know, they're they look like they're going to work. I'm not going to really necessarily call them a squid, but I'll tell you there are some pictures in there where people have no, no, no shirt. The helmet is hanging on the lock on the side rather than on their head. Flip flops, you know, that, and like short, short shorts. Yeah. Then, okay, <laughs> I'll go for the the definition at that point. Uh, but anyway. The, you could also, there's also, you know, if, if, so, if they're behaving erratically and un, highly unsafely, then you also get that squid uh, definition. And I would say I did, definitely did that in my teenage years. So, yeah, I wrote, I wrote a lot then, and then I had a hiatus because uh, I went in the military. Um, got out, college, um, and, and getting, I was married and also in college after I got out of the military. And then had my first child um, just when I graduated, and uh, finally got back to getting a motorcycle. But I always had wanted to get on a motorcycle, and and my wife was just, oh no no no, not going to do that. And finally, you know, I was able, do in part because my mother kept telling all the stories <laughs> to my wife of how I was when I was a teenager. So. Uh, <laughs> finally, with the, you know gas prices going up and all this other stuff, I ha I had more va I, I guess you could say legitimate than fun reasons to get a motorcycle. And finally, I, I was able uh, I was able to get one and get everybody's blessing. <laughs> and I will tell you, I'm a very different mindset for it too. Shoot, I'd never have worn all this gear. I mean, I've. I have so much gear now, winter and summer and different variations, um, just all the gear, and it's, a, it's amazing what age does to you, and experience, I want to say. Uh, I have a very good friend of mine, he's a little bit older than I am, and he doesn't wear a helmet, and he, but, you know, our discussions are, because I, I, res, I respect people's choices, it is, it is, it is their own to choose. But Ellie, and the conversation really ends with you know, but you know it's it's got, right, you know, but I love you, uh, and I like to I like to have you around longer. But it is your choice, man. I respect that. So just be careful when you ride. That kind of conversation, you know, it's not a. And I don't know. I'm not the type of person that'll keep just jabbing at someone. And that you know, if there's one conversation with me if you know me, and then we just move on. I'm more of a person to try to respect somebody's choice to wear gear or not. Uh, but for me, and, and my friend knows, is that I, I wear all this stuff because it's just experience. I've had enough road rash in my life. I've had enough bruises and pains and aching bones and uh, you name it. There's just, uh, I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This experience was why I wear it. And also, I'm a big high vis fan because I have another story. When I, also, when I was a teenager, I had cars just almost just run me over. And this one particular instance where a jacked up Ford truck, and, I, and there's two lanes, okay? I'm in the left lane, so I have a medium to my left. He just turns from the right lane into me. And so I'm pressed all the way up against the curb I'm moving, and he's now boxed in because there's another, there's a jackass on his other side that's, that that took his space that he moved into mine. And so here I am, 
up against the curb and I didn't want to shock the guy uh, to, to like cause another accident and, and then then I get involved with it by him crashing into the other car and bouncing back to me so I'm, I start just kind of hey hey you know and that didn't work and then um, I just ended up knocking on the door <laughs> and yeah they got shocked a little bit but they didn't hear me and I was honking uh, and I, 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 there was, I, because they were jacked up, maybe they were looking for the horn or something, but couldn't see me. And, but the, when I knocked on the door, it was so funny. I knocked on their door, and he knew the the other jackass I was on, and it took, took his space, because um, they're they're like they were they were speeding, trying to get. And that's why he moved over originally. They were right on his tail, tail, you know, tailgating him to move over. So he gave me finally enough room, and and you could see him apologizing, rolling the window down, waving his hand, so sorry, just kind of thing. And uh, finally, was able to move back into his lane. So it worked out. It worked out. So high vis for me, I've had many situations where, in my own observations, cars have have have, have been able to see me far better than when I than I can recall, and the other times I've ridden motorcycles without high vis just in their response of oh they're going to turn even without turn signals they see me quickly like, like that guy he saw me uh-huh. <laughs> and uh they they come out of driveways and and uh i, I just get a, i feel and see the response that i get a better um response from from the other the kagers here that that i am here <laughs> versus other times where they just plow into me now, there, there are those that are, yes, on the cell phone and text messaging and coming across lanes and need to get all the way over to the far left or far right and just <laughs> will blow right past me. And that, you know, that's something as writers we always have to look out for. But experience again, reason why I wear high-vis and, and gear and all sort of stuff.